Hi everyone, I'm back with another Shrink My Stash Empties video. I've got several products here, so I'm just going to jump right in, and hopefully this one will be a bit shorter than the last Empties video. So as always, starting off with my pocket backs. The first one I have here is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I really enjoy this fragrance. It's spicy, um, pumpkin spice, heavy cinnamon, and then kind of a clean note underneath that almost smells like shampoo to me. I really enjoy this fragrance and would absolutely repurchase it. Then we finished off this Mahogany Teakwood. Really love this one as well. This is one of the cult favorite fragrances at Bath & Body Works. There it goes. Um, I have not seen it in a sanitizer this year, which is unfortunate because it's just a nice men's cologne scent. Makes a really good hand sanitizer, I think. Really enjoyed it, and if it came back, I would repurchase it. Then we finished off this Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint. This is my favorite of the aromatherapy scents. It's very clean. It's a perfect scent for a hand sanitizer because it smells really clean on top of actually cleaning your hands. So I love it and would absolutely repurchase this one. And finally, for hand sanitizers, we finished A Walk in the Woods. I love this and I don't even know how to describe it really. It's a cologne scent. It's fresh but it also has this crisp autumn air outdoorsy scent. I don't know what the notes are in this, but I love it. I've only ever seen it the one year, um, but I would love to see this come back because it's a great fragrance. So love it, would absolutely repurchase it. Moving on to hand soap. This first one here is a little ghost. He is very old, if you can't tell. He's getting kind of gross there. It originally had warm vanilla sugar inside of it. I only purchased it for the holder. Got it on clearance one year after Halloween. Um, 2010. So yeah, it's um, six years old. It's time to let it go. I've been refilling it this time around. It had some sweet cinnamon pumpkin in it left over from last year. So we finished it off and I'm ready to see it go. It's starting to get too discolored to even clean um, and I'm not really that attached to it. So it's had its life and it's ready to go. But it is a very cute little holder. And they come out with new ones every year though, so I'm not too attached. Then we finished off this Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla Deep Cleansing. The notes on here are rich vanilla and freshly ground cinnamon. This smells just like cinnamon sugar donut. I talked about it a lot in my last empties video. I really enjoyed it in the fall. I think at any other time of year, it might be too much as a hand soap, that heavy cinnamon bakery scent. But I did really enjoy it. I have a few more in my stash still. After that, I can see myself repurchasing it. But as I said, just as a one-time seasonal thing, not as a year-round scent. And the other soap we finished off was this Deep Cleansing Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. The notes on here are just pumpkin, cinnamon, and sugar cane. Again, spicy, cinnamon, and clean. One of my favorite fall scents, so I would absolutely repurchase that. Moving on to bath products here. I have a couple shower gels we finished off. This first one is Perfect Autumn Day. And the notes on here are Bartlett Pear, Crisp Autumn Air, Maple Toffee, Amber Woods, and Fig Leaf. Now, when I smelled this in store, and I'm pretty sure I got this either free or at semi-annual, because I know it's not one of my all-time favorites. I don't think I paid full price for it or anything, or even regular sale price, which is what I mean by full price. I never pay full price for anything. Um... Yeah, when I smelled it in store, the pear, the woods, and the fig really came through. Unfortunately, when I used it, this maple toffee was by far the strongest note, and I can't handle maple scents. So we used it um, 
probably about half of it I ended up putting in my son's little bubble bath container I've showed you guys before, um, using it as a bubble bath for him. And then the other half my boyfriend and I did use, but it was not a favorite of mine. I have one more of these in my stash that probably won't get used until next year, um, but this is not a scent I would repurchase just because maple does not work for me. And the other shower gel we finished off here is Cup of Warmth, Vanilla, Chai, and Biscotti. The notes on this one are very simple. Vanilla chai, toasted biscotti, and a sprinkle of nutmeg. I really enjoy this scent in the body care. Um, it's a bakery scent with vanilla and spice. Really enjoy it. However, in the shower gel, it pretty much had no scent. And I don't just mean after the shower because I never expect Bath & Body Works shower gels to linger. Um, but in the shower, I could put this on my loofah and scrub with it and smell nothing. So unfortunately, as much as I like the scent, I would not repurchase it in a shower gel because there's just no fragrance to it. I also finished off this pink chiffon bubble bath. Um, I really enjoy pink chiffon. It's a very sweet feminine scent. Um, let's see here. The notes listed are sparkling red pear, jasmine petals, and tiari flower with vanilla orchid and chiffon musk. I don't really get any of that individually. Um, I get a really sugary sweet scent with a hint of floral. Very, very feminine, very sweet. I really enjoyed it as a bubble bath, but I'm not really purchasing Bath & Body Works bubble baths unless they're 75% off or more. Um, but if I found this scent at that price, I would pick up another few because I did like the scent. But bubble bath's not really something I look to purchase from Bath & Body Works. I also finished off this. This is a Dr. Teal's Epsom Salt Soaking Solution. These are bath salts. The scent is Comfort and Calm with Chamomile. You can get this at Walmart, Target, probably some other places. Um, I really enjoy Dr. Teal's bath salts and bubble bath. This one especially was a really great soothing scent, just a pure, super strong chamomile. I could leave this bag closed sitting on the side of my tub and my whole bathroom smelled like chamomile all day, every day. Really great scent, would absolutely repurchase that. Then a couple scrubs here. The first is this Aromatherapy Stress Relief in Eucalyptus Spearmint. I rave about the Aromatherapy scrubs all the time. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing my spiel. Um, they're great. I love them. They're moisturizing. They scrub. I will absolutely continue to repurchase them. And this is my favorite of the Aromatherapy scents. So I would repurchase this scent as well. And the other scrub that we finished off is from the Body Shop. This is the Virgin Mojito. Really liked this scent. Um, not quite a fall scent, definitely a summer scent. I just really wanted to use it because I do love the scent. And it's nice to have kind of a fresh body scrub. Unfortunately, I wasn't really a fan of the formula. It was a very thick gel and that stopped it from being very exfoliating. The exfoliating particles in there just couldn't really get to your skin in that gel. I believe I have one more of these which I will use and I will enjoy the fragrance, but I would not repurchase this particular scrub because it doesn't scrub. Then I have a couple hand creams that I finished off. This first one is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. There we go. Um, I've really been enjoying this scent this year. In past years it's been way too sweet for me. I don't know if that's my nose changing or the formula changing, both are possible, but I'm really enjoying it this year. It's a really sweet marshmallow scent with a hint of like a sandalwood and spice to it. Really liked it and I would repurchase it. Then I also finished off this Black Cherry Merlot. This is one of my favorite Bath & Body Works scents. I'm not going to focus, there we go. 
Um, one of my favorite Bath & Body Works scents, just a real dark, sweet cherry scent. Would absolutely repurchase it. And I believe I already have a few backups of this. So, great scent. <clears throat> Starting to lose my voice, guys, so I apologize. Then I finished off one body lotion, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. The notes on here are Heirloom Pumpkin, Autumn Cinnamon, Ginger Snap, Whipped Vanilla, and Golden Amber. I really enjoy this scent. It's a strong cinnamon spice scent. Um, and as I mentioned, it's got that undertone of shampoo that smells kind of clean. I really enjoyed it. I wear it every fall and I will continue to repurchase it. Then I finished off one body cream. This is the Sweet Cranberry Rose. This is a new scent this year and I am completely in love. If you saw my haul video, I bought a ton of the sprays and creams in this scent. The notes on here, I did cut it open so it's a bit warped. The notes on here are fresh cranberry, rose petals, sugared plum, pear blossom, and soft autumn musk. This is just a really, it's sweet. I don't get, I get the cranberry, just a hint of the rose in there. Um, I get a really sweet perfumey scent with a heavy undertone of like white pepper. At first I thought like a black pepper. I think it's more of a white pepper, a peppercorn scent. And that sounds weird, but it smells amazing. I love it. And this is one of the very few Bath and Body Works scents that my boyfriend has commented on. He know like he knows I have all this stuff. Obviously, the house always smells different. I always smell different. Um, but he rarely has anything to say about them unless he really dislikes one or he really likes one. And this is one that every time I wore it, he commented on how nice it smelled. So I will continue purchasing this one. I hope this scent is not discontinued at semi-annual sale. But if it is, I will be buying all of it that I can find. I really, really love Sweet Cranberry Rose. And speaking of, moving on to the body sprays, I finished a full-size Sweet Cranberry Rose body spray. I love the packaging on this. I don't really care for the packaging on the cream, uh, but on the spray, I think it's really pretty. So again, have repurchased and will repurchase. That is currently, that is my newest like top five Bath & Body Works fragrance. It's in the top five for sure. Really, really love it. Then I finished a little travel spray here in Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin to match the lotion. Loved it. We'll repurchase it. And I finished a travel spray in Wild Madagascar Vanilla. I liked it. It's more of a mature vanilla. Um, not necessarily just like a pure sweet vanilla, but there's some perfumey overtones. I don't have the notes, so I can't tell you what they are. Um, I believe this one has a rum scent in it. I enjoyed it. It's not one of my all-time favorites, um, but I have a few more products in my stash and I'll enjoy using them. But once they're gone, I don't think it's one that I will seek out to repurchase again. It has been discontinued, so it's good. I'll use it, but it's not one that's worth the effort of finding again, I don't think. And finally, for body care, I finished one mini EDT. I've only finished three of these minis all year. I don't wear the EDTs or perfume very often at all, um, but this is in Forever Red. I love Forever Red. It's my favorite EDT or perfume to wear when I'm not wearing body sprays, and my boyfriend really likes this one as well. So I mostly just wear it on like date nights or something. Um, but I finally managed to empty that out, and like I said, it's hard for me to go through these, so I'm happy about that. And that's all of my body care. Give me a moment to sweep this away, and we'll move on to home fragrance. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my candles. The first one I have here is a Better Homes and Gardens medium jar. This is in Crisp Fall Leaves. I've mentioned this several times before as one of my favorite fall scents. Definitely my favorite Better Homes and Gardens scent. Um, it's just very, 
outdoorsy fall air. I don't know how else to describe it, but it smells really good. It's got a little bit of a spice to it. Um, this one did have a little bit of sooting around the rim. I do use Yankee, um, and there goes the word, completely gone. I blank on this all the time, Illumilid. The Yankee Illumilids, um, which cut down on the soot, but sometimes these still soot really bad. I do trim the wick down on these down to a nub, and they still get a high flame and soot, so you do have to watch that. Um, another thing to watch with these, do you see where the wick is? The wicks in these travel like crazy. I have fin I have lost more of the Better Homes and Gardens candles to that wick than anything else. Because once it gets against the glass, you have to blow it out or the grass glass will crack, you'll have a mess. Um, you'll see this wick is laying on its side. It's actually still quite long. I could have gotten a few more burns out of it. The, the wick was closer to the center. It was probably over here the last time I lit it. And I lit it, it melted the wax, and then it fell over and drifted to the side. Couldn't do anything about it then. Um, at that point, the wax was still up here where you can see. So as you can see, I just poured it into one of my wax warmers because I love the scent and got the rest of the scent that way. And the wax warmer, the scent was very strong. Burning this candle, I'd say at a medium throw. Um, again, the throw on their candles, even in the same scent, same candle size, very hit or miss. They are not consistent at all with the oils that they mix in. Uh, but for the price, you know, I don't expect a ton. Um, yeah, medium throw, no soot. I just wish that they would secure their wicks better so that I didn't constantly have problems like this. But I love this scent and I will and have continued to repurchase crisp fall leaves. The next one I have here, we're moving on to Bath & Body Works candles. That was my only other brand I had. Here is a three wick in Marshmallow Fireside. This is this year's packaging. The notes on the bottom are toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. It is toasted marshmallows. It is a little bit of fire smoke, firewood smell, and toasting marshmallows. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite fall scents every year. I think I have one left and I will absolutely stock up during semi-annual sale. Um, great scent. No sooting at all. Really, really nice burn. Um, the mess you see before you is because on the last burn, when the wicks went out, there was still a decent amount of wax in here. Uh, the wicks went out a little early, I think, on this candle, but the wax was already melted, so I just, again, poured it into my warmer to get the rest of the scent out. Other than that, it had a great burn. Minor complaint on the throw, it was medium to medium high in the past, this candle has been much stronger. To me, this year's is lacking a little bit in throw. Um, I will still buy more, but I would have been happier with it if it had been um, a little bit stronger. The next one I have here is from the White Barn Collection. This is Cactus Blossom. I burned this one in the bedroom. It's just a heavy, perfumey scent. Uh, cactus flower petal, sun-kissed coconut, vanilla, fresh sparkling lemon. Off the bat, there's no coconut and no lemon in the scent. Um, it's very, very floral. Now, is it cactus flower? Don't know, never smelled one. Um, but it is just a heavy, floral woman's perfume. Sweet, perfumey, floral. Um, I really liked it for the bedroom. I don't think I would burn it in any other room of my house but it was amazing for the bedroom. I will say that near the end, um, probably my last two or three burns, it started giving me a bit of a headache. It was just too strong. Um, so in fact, for the very last burn, I did bring it out here into the dining room and let it finish burning. The whole house smelled like it. It was okay, but again, to me, it's very much a bedroom scent. I do have more of those and I'm going to burn them closer to spring because um, I'm really getting into fall and winter now. As long as the headache problem doesn't come back, I will enjoy them and would repurchase. If they're going to start giving me headaches, unfortunately, I'll have to exchange them out. Uh, but I hope they don't because I do really enjoy the scent. And as for the burn on this one, no tunneling. Um, 
get the lid off there. There is, if you can see, a little bit of sooting just right around there. So just minor sooting. I did have to trim the wicks pretty constantly. Um, but other than that, it burned down fine. No tunneling. No problems there. The next one we finished off is this sun-drenched vineyard. It's the original release from the Cork and Vine collection. Uh, let's see here. Rich fruit, white wine grapes, and oak. A um, little bit of the oak. Um, I'm very thrown off because the lid on this is from a sweater weather candle, so I'm mostly smelling sweater weather right now. But I get a little bit of the, the grape note um, and a lot of the oak. Kind of fruity. I really enjoyed this one. At first I had it lit in my living room, and as I've mentioned before, my living, my dining, and my kitchen are all one open great room, and I wasn't really smelling it at all. I couldn't get any throw out of it. But I really loved the scent, so I moved it into my bedroom, and it actually had a really strong throw in there, um, which happens sometimes because the bedroom is, of course, smaller, and it also doesn't have all the air currents, air vents, air conditioner running, so the scent doesn't have me as far to go. Our bedroom also has lower ceilings. We have very high ceilings here in the great room, so I'm sure that's part of it. Um, but burning it in the bedroom, it was a wonderful candle. No soot, no tunneling, no burn problems at all. And I would repurchase that, but I will continue to use it as a bedroom candle if the throw is not any stronger. The throw was fine for the bedroom. It was a little strong for the bedroom, but it just didn't work out here in the great room. And my final three wick candle is this pumpkin apple, one of my favorite fall candles. My voice is starting to go again. Really enjoyed this one. Uh, the notes on here, apple and pumpkin with cinnamon and clove. I get a tiny, tiny hint of cinnamon. I don't get any clove. I get a lot of apple and a hint of that pumpkin, pumpkin spice scent. This is a very fresh scent and it's a great transition from fall or from summer into fall. We've had a very hot fall. It was hard to use a lot of bakery candles because it's been so hot. Um, but this is a great candle for when you want to smell fall, but it's not necessarily a good time to be burning those heavy candles. So I enjoyed this one and I would repurchase it. Moving on to the little medium tester candles here. These are of course the ones I burn in my guest bath. The first one here, it's gonna be hard to see. This is Relax Lavender Linens. Uh, let's see here. Soothing linens, relaxing lavender, fresh rosemary, and tonka. No tonka, no rosemary, a hint of linen, and a heck of a lot of fresh lavender. It smells like fresh cut lavender. That's really all there is to this, um, which is great. My boyfriend loves lavender. It's a nice clean scent. It worked really well in the guest bath, which is also the litter box room. So gotta have a strong candle in there. Very clean smelling, had a great throw, filled the bathroom, no problem, came out into the hallway, loved it. You can see the burn was messy. It never tunneled, but it did leave a lot of residue. I don't really care because I burn it in a, uh, a luminary, so doesn't matter. Burned all the way to the bottom, no sooting, no problems. Really enjoyed that one and I would repurchase it. I think I have it in a three wick right now as well. Then for the medium candles, cinnamon sugared donut, freshly grated cinnamon and sparkling sugar crystals, freshly baked cake donut with a hint of vanilla. It smells like cinnamon donuts. Um, very authentic. Everybody loves cinnamon sugar donut. Just a great scent. I actually went through two of those. I did burn those in the guest bath. Um, it's a weird scent for a bathroom, I know, but if I, those were ones I burned when I didn't really have guests coming over because I like the scent and I don't spend a lot of time in the guest bath, but when I walk past it, I got that cinnamon sugar donut scent, so I was happy. Good scent, would definitely repurchase it, probably not in this size, um, because since moving to this house, I do only burn those in the guest bath. As I said, it's not really a bathroom scent, but I have a ton of them in the three wick size and we'll continue to purchase them. 
Then for the last of my candles, I have a couple minis here in Vampire Blood, this year's Halloween packaging. The scent notes, I don't know if it's going to focus. Probably not. There we go. Blood Red Strawberry, Midnight Blooming Jasmine, Dark Transylvanian Plum. It's plum, a hint of strawberry. I don't really get any jasmine. I, I don't. It's plum and straw, just a teeny bit of strawberry to me. I really like it on cold. It reminds me of the Vampire Blood soap and sanitizer. Unfortunately, when it burned, it had very, very little throw. Um, I had this in my bathroom. I like these when I take baths and things. And with this one, you had to light it and close the bathroom door and give it like two hours. And then when you walked in, you could smell it, but five minutes later, the scent was gone. Um, this one, however, I didn't really purchase for the scent or the scent throw. I purchased it for the packaging. It's cute. I like to have Halloween themed things in October. So I was happy to have it. I was happy to burn it. I wouldn't really repurchase this particular one, but I would purchase Halloween ones in the future, despite their lack of throw, again, just for decor. The, this to me was more for decor than candle scent. And I did actually go through two of those. Um, they're just cute. And they even have the cute little boo lids there. So cute decor, not a lot of throw, but I'm not mad about it. All right, so moving on, I have some other home fragrance products from Bath & Body Works, kind of random here. I have one room spray and homemade cookies from the old Slatkin & Co days. So you know this one's old. Um, this has come back as Merry Cookie. Excuse me. Merry Cookie in the past few years. It's just a sweet vanilla bakery scent. Not all that special, but still really good. I mean, everybody has vanilla bakery scents, but it's still a really nice scent. Uh, especially if you have guests coming over. Vanilla bakery is a very inoffensive scent and it makes it smell like you've been baking. So I liked that one. I would repurchase it I think in a room spray especially. Um, then I had one wallflower bulb. This was in evergreen and I know October is way early for evergreen but this was my last wallflower bulb and I wanted to be done. You guys know I don't care for these anymore. I started using them in like 2007 and they were great and the quality's just gone downhill and I'm over it. So there's my last wallflower bulb and barring some huge change of heart, I won't be purchasing any more of them at all. Um, as for the scent, evergreen, smelled like Christmas trees. I like it. Um, it was weird in October, but I'll continue to purchase the scent evergreen for, you know, candles and room sprays for Christmas. No more wallflowers, I'm done. I will say it feels really great to have an entire category of products gone and I don't plan to replenish. Um, so my stash, I'm actually seeing a lot of shrinkage and that makes me happy. Then I have this old product. It makes me happy to get rid of these really old ones too because after a while they start feeling like a weight when you see them sitting there. Um, even if they're good, even if you love them, like this one. I love this scent. This is Acorn and Fig. This was a two pack, I'll tell you how old it is. They haven't sold those in years. This scent is currently in stores as Autumn Day. Just a nice, sweet fig scent with that woody acorn note. I really enjoy it. Um, yeah, loved it. Had a decent throw in my car. Scent portables are very hit or miss. I don't expect a lot out of them, to be honest, but I enjoyed it. I would repurchase the scent in a scent portable but not for a while because I have a lot of these and I really just want to use them up. I think I'd rather use up all the ones I have and then just buy them as I need them. But uh, yeah, good scent. I would repurchase that scent for sure. And then I have some home fragrance oils. This first one is from The Body Shop. Pomegranate and Raspberry. I talked about this particular one in my last empties video as well. I uh, really love the scent. It's my favorite, or one of my favorite body shop scents. My favorite home fragrance scent from them, for sure. Um, I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. Really great fruity scent. It smells like pomegranate and raspberry. This oil, though, 
burns off super fast. I had it in my tea light warmer, which is where I use all my oils, and it seemed to last half as long as a Bath and Body Works oil. It would just evaporate almost immediately. So it smelled really good, but I won't be buying any more oils from the body shop because that's a lot of money to only last a few hours. Um, I could go through this whole bottle in a day if I was home all day. Um, yeah, so great scent, but I think I'm done with their oils. And then these rest, the rest of these are Bath & Body Works oils back from the old Slatkin & Co days. And of course they do not sell oils at all anymore. This first one is Apple Crumble, an amazing scent, one of the best scents Bath & Body Works has ever put out and they don't want to bring it back and I don't know why. This is a perfect apple bakery scent, apple cinnamon. It smells like apple pie. It is amazing. I loved it. I would absolutely repurchase this scent in pretty much any form, um, any kind of home fragrance. I would love to see this come back. Really, really enjoyed that. Had a great throw, smells amazing, awesome. The next one I finished off here is Leaves. There we go. Everybody knows leaves. It's that quintessential fall scent. Those cinnamon pine cones from, you know, the craft store. Really enjoyed it. Um, really set the mood for fall. Loved it. Would continue to repurchase that fragrance in other products for sure. And finally, in the oils, I have Cider Lane. Again, one of my favorites. I love the scent. I'm so glad they brought the candle back this year and absolutely stocked up on it, so I would definitely repurchase. That's all of my fall oils. I have used up all the oils that were in my fall <clears throat> collection. I did not include them in my fall challenge video because I just didn't think about it because I haven't used them in years. But I've decided this year we're gonna use up all the oils before they all go bad. I wanna use them, get them out, be done, just like the wallflowers. Um, so I'm done with all the fall ones. You may not see any in my next video, but when I start my winter challenge, I will probably include them and go through those as well. And now all I have left to show you are my sensational, oops, all I have left to show you are my wax melts, which this time around are all from Sensationals. Um, we're already half an hour in, excuse me, this video will not be shorter than the last one. Oops, sorry. So let me go ahead and get into these. I'll start with one I have talked about before. This is Pumpkin Marshmallow Cream. There we go. Just a really creamy, vanilla, sweet marshmallow scent with pumpkin spice. Really, really enjoy this one. It has a super strong throw. You don't want to use it in a small room, uh, but it's a great fall scent. And I did actually go through two of those. Love it. We finished off this Pretty in Pink, just a sweet, pink sugar, pink sugar um, that you would get from most vendors. My phone just did something weird. I hope this is still recording. Um, it was okay. It wasn't anything special and I won't be repurchasing it. There are other things I prefer. This one I've talked about before. This is Violet Sugar. I use this in my son's nursery. It's a sweet sugar scent and violets. It's really nice. Um, it's not my favorite for the nursery, but it's good and I would repurchase it. It's a nice scent. Finished this mango, Mandarin Mango Madness. Um, more of a summer scent than a fall scent. There was just one cube left, I wanted it gone. It's okay, but to be honest, when it started melting, I just didn't love it. On cold, it smells really good. It smells like mango, hint of mandarin. Um, but there's just something when it melted, it was just, fake smelling, uh, very inauthentic. I don't, I don't know, I didn't really care for it, so I probably won't repurchase it. Now this one I loved. This is Crimson, it is Cranberry and Oak. Um, it smells like Sexy Man Cologne. Yeah, it smells really good, <clears throat> really good. That cranberry undertone makes it very fall. I really enjoyed this. I actually melted all six cubes in the bedroom, six different nights. Uh, really great scent and would absolutely repurchase that. And the last one here, Pumpkin Apple Muffins. 
there is no bakery in this. They, I don't know why the muffin is there. No bakery. It is apple, it is pumpkin, and it is fall woodsy outdoors air. Um, it smells amazing. I loved it when it was melting. On cold, I can almost see a bakery note, but when this melts, it is being outside at a pumpkin patch, you know, with the hint of that apple as well. Really great scent, and I would absolutely repurchase more of this one. Loved it. So that's it, guys. That's all my empties. Sorry this video was longer than I expected it to be. I guess I had more products than I thought I did. Um, but I'm really happy with my progress so far. And thank you all for watching. Bye.